Laughter has been known to spread like a virus. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Good mythical morning. Now, if I were to tell you that Noah was acting hysterical, I'd believe you. You, well, he's not. He's pretty calm right he now. He seems so unstable. But just kidding, Noah. It, it might be that he had dropped his phone in the toilet and he was very upset about Somebody it. Somebody contain this guy. It's but, like let's get him under control. But what if I told you, no, 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 that doesn't mean that Noah dropped his phone in the toilet. It means that Noah has literally danced himself into a coma. That would be unusual, right? Yeah, I would say uh, let's put that on YouTube. Well, that's because we don't often use the correct understanding or the clinical understanding of what hysteria actually is and what. Are you saying the definition of hysteria is dancing yourself into a coma specifically? You just just stick with me, and you'll find out where I'm going. Mass hysteria is defined as a condition affecting a group of persons characterized by excitement or anxiety, irrational behavior or beliefs or inexplicable symptoms of illness. It's when people start acting crazy together. And yeah, like waiting in line for like a new gadget for days, mm -hmm. intense. And like if they all started doing the same weird thing, maybe you would have a case of mass hysteria. Like piling human refuse in public locations. Okay, that's in you, front of the Best Buy. Now you're getting warm, and I'm not talking about the human refuse. I'm talking about with your conceptually, you're getting warm. Okay, because and, and the funny thing is, is that they can't. Science can't even explain what causes this, and it continues to happen to this day. We're going to take a look at an old case, and we're going to take a look at a more recent case. Okay. Let's start with the dancing plague of 1518. This is the earliest recorded case of mass hysteria, July 1518 in Strasbourg. That sounds like Germany, I know, but it's in France. Um, a woman named Frau Trofea walked out into the middle of the street and just started dancing. Oh, cool! Hey, look. She's got rhythm. You know, She's, Fro is dancing, not unusual. Or slightly unusual. But then she just kept dancing, and she kept dancing and dancing. Was a it, week later. Like, are we talking like. Nonstop dancing. We're jiggling like there's something in her pants, like there's ants in her I don't pants. Know, I don't know what was, I don't know, it wasn't like she was dancing to like. Like, did she have the, a really the, bad itch? The latest Pharrell track, because he didn't exist at this point. No. I mean, and I don't know if it was music, but I just, I mean, yeah. Hello, well, 15, 18 dancing. Hey, hey, hey. Kind of like, I look like something Steve Martin would have done in like 1978. <laughs> I'm sorry, but. You don't have footage of this. Uh, I don't. I don't know what the footage, I, I don't know what the footage would show other than Fro dancing or Frau dancing. And I'm going to call her Fro. A but week you, later. Are you about to tell me somebody catches this? Link, I'm, I, the first thing I said that you just let wash right over you is I said a week later. She danced for a week. No rest, no stopping. No sleeping? No sleeping. She danced for a week. By that time, 34 people had joined in. Yeah, so you're telling me that it's, it was like a dance party. That didn't stop. But clinical. You're not, it's not like, hey, she's throwing a party, let's go dance with her. They were compelled to do it? I don't like, know. Like medically? Science doesn't even know. I'm just telling you, brother. I'm telling you that Fro started dancing. She, a week later, 34 people had danced her. Uh, had, had danced her, had joined her, and then within a month, 400 people were dancing in the streets. This is tough to believe. I mean, well, you just have like illustrations. Okay, of it. so this seems like it would be physically impossible, but there's a written record of this. I mean, we're not saying that it is unequivocally uh, true, but everything that we know that you can know about 1518 suggests that this is true and that it's actually uh, kind of confirmed by the fact that people started dying from dancing. Oh wow! Now I've had some long dance sessions in my life. Not really. I'm not one. You know, when I see a bunch of people dancing at like a wedding reception, that's the only time I see people dancing. I don't go to right. a club. Look at me, guys. It's Come like on. You, you join Get out of grip. guilt, right? I'm like, ah, this, why do we humans do this? Let me go out there and do my Michael Jackson and make everybody laugh. I've pulled a muscle dancing, but I've never killed myself dancing. Well, I think I'd remember that. Dozens of people died from dancing and no one could figure out how to stop them from dancing. Like they were dancing so much they didn't stop to eat or drink and there was like starvation? That is my understanding, Link. Gosh. They danced themselves to death. Uh, a lot crazy. of people believe that this was a case of severe stress. Uh, the area had been plagued by famine and disease for years. But there is really no explanation for why people joined in and this is not a completely unusual thing. 
This is one that is a little bit uh, on the lighter side of people just dying from dancing. But my theory is that it's like some, it has to be some sort of brain virus. That has to be what it is. Uh, the old brain virus? It's attacking the dance centers of the brain. Well, that's a good theory, but according to modern science, you would be wrong. In this next case that happened in the 60s, they actually did blood tests and brain tests. Really, they were studying it as it happened? They okay. were dancing again? This is No, this is one of the most famous cases of mass hysteria in history. Uh, this began January 30th in 1962 in and around a small village of Koshasha in Tanganyika, which is now uh, Tanzania, okay. near the border of Uganda. Started, pretty simple, three girls in an all-girl boarding school. Uh, one girl tells a joke to the other girl. I don't know what the joke was. Uh, but it caused the other girls to begin giggling. And they were just struck. They went into a laugh attack. Not unlike the laugh attacks that we used to have. We had them all the time. We had them at school. We had them in like a, the church balcony. Oh yeah, we yeah. Could. It's nothing like a church balcony. <laughs> we to just, make you just could bust not out. stop laughing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And You had to entertain yourself and somehow. Some, and then sometimes we would just induce laugh attacks on purpose when we were right. bored. Like just one like, guy would just <laughs> <laughs> We like did that. that. And I mean, it, just, at some point, stupid. later than the point we were just at, it would actually, we would, act, it would morph to, to Real legitimate laughter. laughter. And it was much easier when you were like eight. Yeah. You yeah. Know. Yeah. And just, just high on fudge rounds. 30, 30 years <laughs> later, it's not quite as easy. I'd, but, eat, I'd eat like five fudge rounds in one sitting. Listen, kids, don't grow out of your ability to induce a laugh attack. But also, hopefully, this won't happen to you. Anyway, how big did this get? Okay. These three girls start laughing. They can't stop laughing. They laugh for 16 hours straight. Now, it, it, there's at least a point of reference here in that like laughter is contagious, kind of like yawning is contagious. The dancing thing is still weirder than this, unless, but, but this one is in the 60s, so this was more, more data. And it's more, more data, yeah. So they laugh for 16 hours. And at that point, the laughter has spread to 95 of the school's 159 students. So we've got a majority of these girls at this school laughing to the point that on March 18th, now see, this says it began on January 30th and then by March 18th. So this is, this is months long and I don't know, it was like this thing that kept recurring, kept happening. It wasn't like they just laughed it would, it would come in waves? I, well, I just don't think you, I, I don't think you can, I guess you could physically laugh for that long. I don't know that specific detail. I just know that the school shut down on March 18th. Wow. But the so epidemic strange. continued. Other girls that lived around this uh, village ended up affecting 48 of the 154 students at another school, and that school had to be shut down in June. So a few months later, it kept going until- Was it only over girls? 14, uh, over 14 schools in the area had been shut down and over 1,000 people had been infected. And what, do you know what they would do? Would they like pin them down and like stop laughing and like cover their mouths? I, I mean, what can you do when somebody's laughing? You're like, if you, here's the thing. <laughs> if you, if somebody's laughing, you try to it help them. You get out there and you're like. <laughs> 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 you don't touch them, you catch it. You is can't that touch you, them. Is that how you got it? I don't know. You I don't know. I figure, all I know is a thousand people got it. But the, none of the teachers, teachers, of course, were affected by this. None of the teachers were affected. They were probably very affected in a negative way. They were probably very upset about it. That's interesting. You said they took blood tests? Scientists came in and they ruled out any biological or environmental causes. No virus, no bacteria, no chemicals in the food supply. Blood samples were taken, nothing physically wrong with any of the patients. Um, and Radiolab did a piece about this and has described that, they, they talked about this, but they've also talked about how there's been smaller outbreaks in Tanzania this is the thing that happens in Tanzania, even in even in, in modern times, but nothing like this initial one that shut down all these schools. You know, they thought about the differential diagnosis. Those are, we say NAD, nothing abnormal detected. So, so there's, there's no, Ultimate conclusion. There's no explanation. Most people think that this was this happened just after Tanzania declared independence from Great Britain, and so uh, there's a, there was a, mas a massive social change. But it's usually induced by stress. But you can have good stress at the same time. You can have bad stress, and that's the only thing people can can uh, point to. I think the moral of the story is I'm never laughing again because I don't want this show to get shut down. It's too much of a risk. 
Okay, I'm trying to right now. Because if I start laughing, then you start laughing, then Morgan starts laughing, Eddie starts laughing. Next thing you know, this show's gonna get shut down. It's debilitating. Well, that's kind of the sad irony of the thing. And then other internet shows are gonna get shut down. It's like the euphoria associated with dancing or laughing leads to death or schools being shut down. It's like, the one thing, the one thing, the one, the one safe place we could all go to experience joy, to emote joy, dancing or uh, laughing, is, is being taken from us by an unknown scourge. It's, it's, a, it's alien. If it's not viral, then it has to be alien. Aliens exist, we proved it this what morning on Good at? Mythical Morning. <laughs> well, I mean, what do you, what's your explanation? Come on. Aliens exist, I'm in complete agreement with and you. And this is what they're doing. And they're gonna shut down your school. You don't have to wait for the snow to come. Just start laughing. I don't know. I mean, you can feel free to let us know uh, in the comments what what you think. I'm sure you know more than we do uh, in one way or another. Thanks so, for liking and commenting. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Becca. And I'm Caroline. And we're from South Carolina. But today we're in New York City. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Make sure you go and check out the wrapping up of Crew Madness at facebook.com slash Rhett and Link. Go over there to find out who won the whole thing. Click to the Good Mythical Mar, where um, I'm told there is an amazing laughter chain video. So we're gonna try to induce an epidemic going against what you just said. And oh, Good Mythical Mar, join us for that. See if you'll laugh. Contemplating music. Music. This little bass, which is spelled the same as bass. I once got a pair of headphones that had extra bass. I was sorely disappointed. Music. No one's weaker than when they're laughing. Like that. I mean, if I was boxing, I would be trying. I'd be like doing a comedy routine. Uh, like, hey, <laughs> knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? Bam.